Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using Too Faced Hangover Face Primer to prime my face. And the one thing I do like about this face primer again, it does leave my skin feeling moisturized. And I like to take my time and just uh, pat the face primer in and press it into my skin. And for uh, eyelid primer, I'm using MAC Paintily Paint Pot. And to set my primer, I'm using Laura Mercier Setting Powder. And just taking a brush, just remove any loose powder. And for the palette, I'm using Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. And for the first transitional color, I'm using Amber. And I'm just repeating the same step going in with the amber eyeshadow color. And to deepen it up, I'm going in with sapphire. And to make the outer corner deeper, I'm going in with this rich brown color. It's called OUD. And for the lid color, I'm using a MAC eyeshadow color in coppering or copper but all the products I'm using today will be listed down below in the description bar And to give my lid a little pop of a more of a coppering color, I'm using ColourPop eyeshadow color in Gang Face. And I'm just adding it to the center of the eyelid. Using the ColourPop eyeshadow, it's best to use your finger for more of a pigment uh, eyeshadow look. And I'm just going in with a brush just to even out the eyeshadow pigment. And for concealer for correction, I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Orange Corrector. And to blend everything out, I'm going in with a Beauty Blender.
And for foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Nutmeg. And I'm using Tarte Kabuki brush. And I decided to fast forward it because this is the same routine that I normally do for my foundation. And for concealer, I'm using Kat Bun D uh, concealer in the shade Warm D33. And this is actually my first time using a Kat Bun D uh, locket, and I'm actually loving this concealer. It lasted for, I think I wore it for probably like 10 or 12 hours. This is a beautiful concealer. And just to mention, this is a full coverage concealer. And to set my concealer, I'm going back in with the Laura Mercier. And I'm just noticing I make the craziest face when using a beauty blender and baking. And for uh, face powder, I'm using MAC Loose Face Powder in the shade Deep Dark. And for contour, I'm using MAC Blunt Blush. And for blush, I'm using MAC Pink Swoon. And for highlight, I'm using uh, Laura Geller in the shade. I think this highlighter shade is called uh, Peach Glow. It was a tad light, so I decided to use the MAC Highlighter in Whisper Gilt, Extra Dimension. And I just added the Whisper Gift on top of the Peach Glow. And just went in with the foundation brush just to buff, uh, buff it out. contour in my nose I'm going in with MAC blunt blush and I'm just going in with a brush just to blend it out 
for uh, eyeliner, I'm using Tarte Tardius. And I don't like to take the pencil half all the way in because my eyes is already small. So I like to go halfway in with the uh, eyeliner pencil. And to bring some pop and some tension back to the center of my face, I'm going in with MAC Nylon Eyeshadow. And for lip pencil, I'm using Nick uh, Lip Pencil. I believe the shade is called Brown. And for lipstick, I'm using MAC Holiday Collection Set Lipstick in the shade Nude Dijon, which is a nude pink matte lipstick. And for eyelashes, I'm using Coco Lashes in Coco. This completes the look, guys, and I'm using the uh, MAC uh, mascara just to top everything off. And just going back in with a spoolie brush just to uh, brush out my eyebrows. And this completes the look. If you like what you've seen today, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.